Hi, here's a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Put diamond plate on a shower splash guard. And I've got some diamond plate graphic film. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to put it on. If I try to turn a corner, it's going to throw it off. So what I'm going to do is uh, make it so that it's whole right from the beginning. So I'm going to fold this into position the way it's going to sit when it's installed. And I'm just going to put some tape on it to hold it. I'm putting this on the inside and the diamond plate's going to be on the outside. I want it nice and... Now that's where it's going to go. And all I'm going to do is uh, lay this down on top of it there. Now I'm just going to trace it out roughly. I think this leaves me a bigger piece, so I'll, I'll put it here. There we are. Don't really need a straight edge, I'll just freehand it. I'm gonna have something left over. I'll cut it out precisely after I get it on there. Now, start with this one. And what I need though, is I need some, this is double stick carpet tape. I used it on the tile project. A couple of pieces of that. One there, put one there. There we are. And all I'm gonna do is press it down to hold it in place. Take my material, place it on there. I've got more than I need. Nothing sticks out. That's about right. Press this down and we're ready to go. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Peel up and be repositioned without much, without much trouble. That looks just fine. Now I may as well do the other one before I turn it over and start, start cutting it out. But I'm going to have to move these over to this side. I've got one left and one right. Okay. There. It's about right. So all I have to do is press this down to get it started. Now then what we've got to do is trim off all the excess and we'll be done. I've got some excess coming over the back as well, but that won't be a problem. We'll do it the same way. It's really sticky, but that's what we want. We want... I'm just going around the outline and of the material. If anybody wonders why these scallops, why these scallops are on there, it's because it makes it smooth. Nobody's gonna fall and hurt or cut themselves with it. Now, one thing I've yet to do is I'll trim this little bit of excess here. Come in at an angle. There we are. Nice, eh? Okay, one more thing, and, and that is uh, we've got to cut this because we'll still need to overbend it when, when it's installed because the key to getting good results from a shower splash guard is this point right here needs to get right into the corner in the grout. And with most shower guards that I see on the market, they're, they're shaped in a perfect 90 degree. And how do you get both pieces? You either stick it to the wall first or stick it to the tub first. And I think it, it's important to stick it right on the grout first. If you can't stick it on the grout first, then you don't get good adhesion down there. So what I'm talking about is you need to fold this over like this when you install these things in order to get right down there onto the grout. Then you put this side down, then you put this side down. So there, that's the way it's done. I don't think you need to watch me trim this one off. I can't wait to see this installed. I'll have to take a photograph once I do. See you next time.